we need this and we need this. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? See, I wanted a lap timer, the same as the one that you get on Gran Turismo, i.e. when you're driving along, you've got the uh, total time of the lap that's constantly counting on the screen and then underneath that as you cross the splits the sectors in the lap it gives you a plus or a minus where you are compared to the best lap that you've ever done on that track I just wanted something like that for the road so I the first two apps I downloaded Track Addict and uh, Race Chrono they didn't do that for me so I thought I'd do a video showing a comparison of them and then after that I thought why not just try all the GPS lap timers that I can find on Google Play that look remotely like they will do what I want so this is how this video started without further ado here are the reviews hey guys so we're going to start off with a track addict <clears throat> this is the screen that it gives you it gives you a choice of uh, drag race trial segment circuit add a new track add custom track we're going to go into Google Maps so we're just going to right click on this point what's here and we can see the start point here so we're just going to bang in here four zero point we'll add a split because this is the purpose of this uh, this is what I this is the most important thing to me I want to be able to get uh, live splits as I'm driving around this will be the finish point so, we'll, so I suppose that's it we'll click we'll go yes so that's the track addict uh, set and we'll just go in the car and uh, test this route out see if it's giving the uh, uh, best lap and then the live uh, live split updates um, as we're doing the uh, as, as we're doing the route we select track test route that's fine and then on the screen then in the segment it says test route we'll press the record at the top and now we're going to see what happens okay so it's picked up the start point But it's picked up the end point um, so we'll just do that one more time and we'll see what and we'll just check if it gives me a plus or minus because it definitely has a lap in this system now and it just says 51.3 so basically this is a fit and then I've got to go to the new trap and I've got to set it as the start line okay and it wants me to put in a name okay I don't know why but okay let's put in the name start We'll go back and then we want to put in an end point so that's how you set the route, route up a complete ball breaker much more difficult than a uh, track addict and now we'll just go out drive the car and uh, see how it uh, how it works uh, when it's in motion we'll hit start it wants me to select it i've selected it okay let's go and these were done with the uh, with the google maps system that's inside the app so let's see if it works or not we've passed the start point and I don't see any confirmation that it's doing the timing current is not working for some reason it's logging something because you can see that the memory is going and I can see a clock in the top so so we've gone through the split and then we've gone through the end and nothing has happened we'll go to sessions we can see the start points and split points here so I don't see any issues with it there it even shows We'll give it one more try guys maybe i'm doing something wrong i'm sure
sure I am because you know this is a, a super popular app but you know for something it just seems unnecessarily complicated for what it is I mean it shouldn't be this difficult to do it so I'm giving race chrono a fail as well it should not be so difficult guys to um, have a lap timing app at all so I'm very disappointed so I'm not sure guys, I don't know what to tell you, honestly. I mean, it's shown the, um, it shows it was logging, but it doesn't give any indication on the screen. Now I've tried this before going on the, ro on the road to work. And it was recording then, like, uh, but it just gave the, um, it just gave the, uh, just g at least it gave me the counter before, but now it's not even giving me the counter, so. So for those reasons, guys, I'm out. Hey guys, so we're looking at the uh, CMS lap timer now. Google Play it's here. So I've just opened the app. Let's just see what it says on your easiest to use GPS lap timer, blah, blah, blah. Pro version includes all the app, all the features that are in the app, in app purchases of this free, free, version, free version at a reduced price. Horsepower, automatic track mapping, no need for predefined track info. So we've got the app open here. It looks like a good lap timer. I mean, it's got graphs and stuff on it. So I've selected Bed Bedford Autodrome, for example, and now it says nothing. Guys, this is exactly what I'm not looking for and then the app is crashed so it may be great maybe not but personally I don't have the patience to go into it I want something the whole purpose of my search is to get something that's easy to use with got another one here motocross GPS lap timer it wants to access the files on the device which is fair enough to once a track is created it cannot be erased or it's name modified fair enough so we'll put test okay press okay i think i'm gonna have to actually be there to do it again absolutely something i do not want to do i have a lap timer i have a lap timer that can do this it's called a race logic performance box i can go there and i can set my own splits i'm looking i don't want to do that i want to be able to set it in advance i want greater control i don't want to have to drive around the track to set my split times guys basically maybe it gives the splits i'm sure it does but in any case for that reason i don't want to uh get involved with it i'm not i don't want to have to be at the track to set the split times i want to be able to do all that in advance so this is not for me I'm not saying it's a bad app just saying it's not for me gps laps <sighs> big ownership rights <sighs> okay we'll agree to it whatever so now I need to enter the track. Oh my god, I don't like this. I thought this was the best way to do it, guys, but really I think I much prefer just to put go to Google Maps, get the GPS on there and put it in manually and be done with it. This is just a big pain in the butt. And you've got the ads here and then which get in the way of um the plus and minus arrows. We'll come down here a little bit and set the end point uh, here. And now what? It's only giving me start and an end point, which may not be a bad thing. It maybe it gives me live splits. I suppose we'll find out. So now we'll just go out on track and uh, we'll see what it does, how it works, if we have any issues, etc., etc. So the start is up here somewhere. Hopefully it registers it and also. Like I said, it needs to do splits. I'm not sure if it's going to do them, and if so, how, but we'll see. And now we've just gone through the GPS point, and nothing has happened. It just says attack start. Okay, 
it's giving me elapsed time. I had to go into the menu and select elapsed time. What the hell is going on around here? So that's it. We'll go around again, we're not going to do a complete lap, but we'll just see what's going on with the splits. So we're coming up to the start again. I'm looking for it to reset here. It's reset, it's got the best lap on it, lap one, it's got the time. I don't see it giving me anything except my lapse time. Maybe I need to go into this. Hold on a minute. Lap number, lap time. I don't see anything for splits, guys. And I'm driving around. It gives the lap number, which is cool. But no split information, so... This is a no-go guys. Okay guys, so that's the test. Very quick, but it doesn't give me the split times. It gives the start and the finish point, which is great, but I'm looking for a bit more than that. So this lap timer is also uh, a non-starter, at least for me. Hey guys, I've just gone through the video, as I've said, as I was editing it, and I thought maybe I didn't give the CMS lap timer the benefit of the doubt. I didn't try hard enough with it. So here I am, I'm out in the car, I've got it running. Maybe there's something wonderful and I just didn't give it a chance. So here I am giving it a chance, so we'll see what happens. It says you don't need to put in the GPS points or anything, so let's just start driving and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the lap time has started as soon as I start moving. So now the question on my mind is, do I, does it only do circuits, i.e. you have to cross the start point for it to do anything, or can you do a route, i.e. if I stop now, it's going to record something, I don't know. So I had to stop there for a junction, and the lap timer has stopped on its own. So this is how it measures the lap. So that makes it completely inappropriate for roads where there's traffic lights and junctions. So this is where the start point was for the other one. So I'm just gonna to come to a stop in the road here. And the lap time reset. So as I move again, The lap timer starts again. I'm not sure what's happening. I can see the potential of it. If you don't, if you're doing on a circuit where you're not going to be stopping, then I suppose it would work fine for a circuit. But if for a, for the road, because of the stopping and starting, completely inappropriate, and and maybe if you're going to go on a route, maybe you can't stop in exactly the same place and start from the exactly exactly the same place when you're going from A to B, so maybe it'd be inappropriate there. For my purposes, it would definitely be inappropriate because the start points and the end points that I want to set, I'm going to be traveling through them. I'm not going to be stopping at them. So nevertheless, for if you're interested in the circuit timer, we'll just go and do a loop and we'll see what happens. I'll try not to stop, obviously, to keep this thing rolling. 
um, for some reason it's reset there even though I didn't stop. By the way, this route that I'm doing is a worst case scenario because it is small, so the points are close to each other, and they're stopping and starting, and it's low speed, so <clears throat> maybe it's the type of circuit that will bring out faults, plus I'm not doing complete loops, I'm just going from A to B, so maybe this is going to bring out faults as well. Let's go back to the uh, go back to the office and we'll uh, we'll have a look at what it was saying on the uh, on the screen I was I was driving. So it's showing the lap. It's showing what it counted for the start point here, I think. Okay, and we can push left and right, and then it's going to be and then it's going to come to a stop there where I stop. It's interesting, I'll say that. Okay, so this is when it did the uh, lap time. We recorded it as a 111, and then it's changed to a 110. That I don't really understand. It's given me a best lap delta as we're driving, and a lap time delta, and the lap time is changing, and the best time is changing. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really sure what's going on in this screen. Maybe it's maybe I'm missing something obvious. But anyway, guys, generally a bit complicated for what I want. I just want something simple, like I showed in the intro. And I don't have control over the, well, the control that I want over the start and finish point. So, like I said, very interesting. I'd recommend having a look at it just for the uh, curiosity factor, if nothing else. But uh, I'm out. Review, guys. That's the, uh, the, the comparison of the uh, free GPS lap timers that are available for Android. If you know of any other ones I haven't covered, feel free to put a comment below if you want to recommend one that you've had great results with. I'm more than happy to take a look at it, but for all the free ones I've tried, as you can see in the video, not really impressed with them, they don't do what I want, and just to recap, I just want something I can put in the coordinates of the start, the finish points, the splits in advance before I get to where I'm going, I don't want to be faffing around with setting things up when I'm at the uh, venue if you like, I want the live splits, for, I don't want a constant splits like every half second or whatever just three two three you know maybe more splits during the lap basically what you get in Gran Turismo I want that uh, the closest one I closest one of the tests I think is a track addict I like the fact that you put in the the GPS coordinates in advance I like the fact that you can add splits that you want it's almost there, the track addict. The only thing I want is for it to have live splits. Maybe there's a pro version that you have to pay for and it's got that, but the free version didn't. So that's a non-starter for me. Uh, the race chrono, I don't like how you have to put in the, the coordinates with Google Maps in advance. It's a bit of a faff and it asks you for names of the splits, which is unnecessary. And then it was a bit hit and miss, at least for me, uh, to get the uh, the timer to work, and it didn't give me, and it didn't give me the um, live update on the splits either, and that's a deal breaker. I mean, that is the fundamental thing that I want. Uh, the CMS I've covered, um, and the others, you know, I won't go over it again. But what you saw in the video. So, like I said at the start of the video. A nice and simple Gran Turismo lap timer it measures the fastest laps and then when you're doing other laps it gives you a plus or minus at each split and at the end and you can do it for a route or you can do it for a loop. There wasn't one there. So all in all very disappointing. Um, I wish I could have something more constructive to say but it is what it is guys. So that's the review of GPS lap timers for Android, the free ones. If you liked the video, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like videos like this, subscribe to the channel, it helps me a lot. As you can see, it's a new channel, we haven't got many subscribers at all at the moment. Look after yourself, and I'll see you again next time.